At the end of their winter hibernation, monarch butterflies mate and then head north and east from Mexico so that the females can lay their eggs in a variety of places in the United States. Each season we'll see four generations of these butterflies, but the final generation will be different from the others because it will live for months instead of weeks. Each female lays 500 to 800 eggs, a few here, a few there, all of them on milkweed. In five to 10 days, the new caterpillar eats its way out of the nutritious eggshell, then turns around and finishes its meal before beginning to eat leaves. It's now officially a larva and heading for the pupal stage. For two weeks, the caterpillars are eating machines. Mo, baby, mo. Kind of reminds you of eating corn on the cob, right? The caterpillars shed their skins four times, with each new incarnation being called an instar, five of them in all. Most of the caterpillars will not survive to build a chrysalis. Maybe 2% will actually become butterflies. Why would that be, since the milkweed they feed on makes them poisonous to most predators? Well, birds that haven't yet experienced how sick eating one will make them, eat them. And all butterfly larvae face wasps that will try to lay their eggs on the caterpillar's skin, where the larval wasps will suck the juices out of their host. Disease, weather, insufficient food, pesticides, all take their toll. But if you ever notice a caterpillar hanging from a leaf in a J shape, pay attention because it's getting ready to form a chrysalis and become a pupa. It spins some silk from its tail and attaches that to whatever surface it will hang from as a chrysalis. Oddly enough, the caterpillars seem to like walls as a place to build a chrysalis. What's happening is that the skin is splitting and falling away to reveal the chrysalis underneath, which quickly hardens. The pupal stage, which lasts 10 to 14 days, is a time of frantic inactivity. The green shell hangs there, inert, while the transformation that's occurring within boggles our imaginations. 10 to 14 days later, the chrysalis turns transparent and you get your first inkling of what's been wrought inside there. Along the line where the gold dots had been, the butterfly struggles out head first. Basically, it looks like a shirt that you balled up wet and crammed into your suitcase. It rests, drying its moist wings, clinging with its feet, and gradually testing its new appendages. You can almost see the creature realizing that when it moves these flappy extensions of itself, they feel buoyant, almost like a body could fly. The new butterfly, looking brilliant, will live two to six weeks. That is, unless he's the fourth generation of the year, because if he's Gen 4, he will live all winter. He'll fly to Mexico, hibernate there among millions of others of his species, and next spring, start the next year's generations of monarch butterflies. <laughs>